Hello, welcome to Comedy Cigar Music. Today's cigar for review is Drunk Chicken Cigars, Fat Hen. That remind me of best friend's second wife. Off the foot and wrapper, I getting hay, barnyard, raisin, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. And there is the band for your viewing pleasure. All right, so right at the beginning of cigar here, as you're pulling that smoke in, you're getting a nice tobacco flavor with milk chocolate and a little bit of earth. Once you're holding that smoke in your mouth for a while, just a little bit, you're getting some butter in there. And then as you blow it out, there is just a slight harshness to this smoke flavor and almost like a burnt popcorn in there, which remind me of a story I will tell you in a second. On the finish, really, just a very understated spice, and that is really about it for right now. Very clean finish with just a very understated spice. On the retro hill is just a little bit of sweetness in there and there is some of that uh, kind of harsh smokiness burnt popcorn I was talking about in flavors the aroma of the cigar is actually fairly sweet there is some milk chocolate in there and maybe just a little bit of earthiness but really it is kind of more sweet is what I'm getting off the aroma of the uh, foot of the cigar here the droll the droll is just a little snug and the smoke output I would say is fairly good as of right now but we are just beginning so we give chance we let uh, we let cigar go for a while see if cigar spreads its wings so like I said I uh, remember of the popcorn flavor I reminded of a story of movie theater uh, I go to watch movie with my family we watch a kids movie there is man in theater keep taking phone call and talking very loudly and I say to the man I say please sir I watch movie with family want to enjoy he not listen so well I later have discussion with man in restroom after movie I think he understand what problem was. All right, we are well into first third here, and the burn has been absolutely excellent. Did have to do smoke roll a couple time, but never had to touch up. That burn is beautiful. That not remind me of best friend's second wife. Flavor-wise, getting some milk chocolate, some fruit in there. There is also a little bit of earth and just a little bit of this toasted cracker flavor in there, okay? And some butter. There is some butter in there still. On the retro hail, getting just a slight bit of leather in there. And then on the finish, the finish is leather and it is just a little harsh just a little harsh on the finish with that leather also some earthy components to the uh, finish as well the drawl has gotten a little bit better but it is still just slightly snug just a little snug for me there and the smoke output is okay and i just try to tap that ash off and it is holding on it is holding on like uh man i have conversation with one time his name is Robert. He held on for a long time. Only answer one or two questions. Would like to thank sponsor 58ring.com. If you would like to support the show, click the link below in the description box. 
find yourself something nice or go to 58ring.com and enter ridiculous code dilwi 9 it helps support channel and helps support small business all right I make mess on table all right we are into second third of cigar, almost finishing actually. Flavor wise, there is fruit, sugary sweetness, and toastiness in there. Okay? And then, on the retrohale, leather. Now, that leather is more prominent in retrohale than it was before, but very smooth retrohale, very smooth leather. The finish is still leather but it is no longer harsh it is very manageable acceptable leather okay i have had no burn touch-ups yet as you can maybe see as i roll this there is slight wave in the cigar there just a slight wave and there is small crack developing in the wrapper i'm going to pray i not have to do anything with it but i might we will see Components of this cigar, wrapper Nicaragua, binder is from Ecuador, and the fillers are Dominican Republic and Ecuador. From comedy cigar and music, I want to say thank you to people who requested that I do this review. Now, I ask for address of people who request me for service, but Producers think that's a bad idea. I understand. All right, we are finishing cigar here. Flavor-wise, a lot happening here in final third. Some earth, toastiness, a little floral component in there. Milk chocolate, a little bit of even meatiness, like a roasted type of meat in there, okay? On the retrohale, still that leather, and that leather is still very smooth in retrohale. And on the finish, there is still leather. Still leather, that leather was pretty quick, okay? Pretty short finish of the leather. And then as I went further into the final third, even some dark chocolate came in there, okay? That is good. I like this. Now, I will tell you, the burn, I just had one burn touch up in final third. Not a big deal. The cracks or split in the wrapper burned right through. No problem. It is a little chilly in here. Hands are getting cold. Nipples ready to cut diamond. I will find person responsible for temperature. I will have a discussion with him. We will talk for a little while. Rating this cigar on a scale of one to four, I give this cigar three. Cockadoodle do. Perform very well. Construction is excellent. Two solid clumps of ash in ashtray, all I have. Flavors. Transitions were pretty good, really. A lot of flavors in this cigar. Definitely worth checking out if you are so inclined. Smoke time for this cigar is 1 hour 39 minutes. As always, thank you for joining. If you like this review, like other videos, other reviews, please like and subscribe, comrade. Make sure to leave all questions and comments below. We will get to them as they come along and as we have time. Until next time, be cool to each other. And we will see you soon. Dos vedanya, friends.